Good day, everyone. This is Teacher Jonathan, and today we are going to talk about history of atom. We know that everything around us is made up of matter, and this matter is made up of atoms. And you are probably asking, how did the scientists discover atom? Or how did they discover electron? So uh, in today's presentation, we are going to talk about atom and how did they discover electron? So uh, let's begin with Democritus. Uh, the timeline is 400 BC. So um, let's talk about his contribution in the field of chemistry. Although Democritus is not a scientist, he is a Greek philosopher. So we already know that a philosopher, they reason out instead of do ex doing experiment. Um, he coined atom as atomos or uh, indivisible. So uh, according to his idea that you take uh, a piece of matter and you continue to divide it, you will come to a point that uh, you cannot divide it anymore. And so he called it the, the fundamental or the basic unit. So Democritus called it an atom. So atom, atomos from the Greek, uh, from the Greek word. And these ideas are like this. It's so amazing that they already have the idea way back for in the DC. And he, he said, all matter consists of atoms, which are bits of matter too small to be seen. Uh, there is an empty space between them, although they are solid. Uh, they have no internal structure, and each atom is uh, in different size, weight, and shape. So, um, he reasoned out everything about atom, and so that um, his model looked like this. So, it looked like a, a marble or a, a billiard ball. So, this is his um, model. Now, uh, let's go to Jan Dalton. Uh, the timeline is 1800s. So Jan Dalton was the first to adopt Democritus theory. Uh, and um, if we are going to look at his model, this is his model, it's going to look like uh, it's the same as the Democritus model. Uh, all matter consists of tiny particles. And so as a Democritus idea, uh, they are indestructible and unchangeable. And so that elements are characterized by weight of their atoms. And so that um, when elements react, it is their atoms that have combined to form new compounds. So uh, in, in his theory, uh, John Dalton's theory, uh, more like they are the same with Democritus. By 1890s, uh, there was a scientist by the name J.J. Thompson. J.J. Thompson was, was a physicist who is credited for his discovering the electron. He used his, his research and cathode ray to technology in this discovery. So this is J.J. Thompson, uh, and the timeline is 1890s. So let's take a look at uh, his experiment. Um, in his experiments, um, he uses a cathode ray tube. So it looked like this, actually. Uh, it has a cathode ray and an anode ray. So when uh, he connect this to a power supply, there is a glowing particles produced. So these uh, uh, blue lines here. And so to his surprise, um, uh, uh, particles were produced from a, a cathode ray going to an anode ray. And so he, he was so curious of uh, knowing what this is. And uh, so he did uh, several experiments. Uh, he used um, deflection foil, which is uh, positive and a uh, positive and a uh, negative. And uh, remember that he is a physicist. And um, during those days, uh, they already had the basic principle in physics that um, a positive charge 
and another positive charge repels, or the same charge repels, and a positive and a negative attract. And so he used this uh, basic principle in physics to determine uh, these uh, particles right here, these glowing particles. And he was able to conclude that this is made up of negatively charged particle called electrons. And he did several experiments actually. Um, he used um, a magnet uh, to see if uh, these particles here will repel or attract. And uh, again, he, he was able to conclude that this is a, it's made up of a negatively charged particles because uh, uh, he used a negative uh, part of the magnet and uh, these particles here repel. And so when he flip the other side of the magnet, which is positive, uh, this um, particles attract. And so he was able to conclude that this is an uh, electron. They may be later on an electron or negatively charged particles. So um, J.G. Thompson was an ex excellent physicist. Um, he made a huge contribution in the field of chemistry. And so he did not stop when he found out that uh, this negative charge, uh, through a series of clever experiments, he was able to predict the mass of this charge. And uh, he was able to uh, came up that uh, this charge was 1,000 times lighter than hydrogen atoms. Very clever. And uh, he made a bold statement saying that this negative charge must be inside an atom. And this negative charge he called purple cells later became known as the electron. And so he was awarded because of uh, that contribution. And um, uh, as we can see here, this is uh, Thompson's atomic model. So it's quite uh, the same as uh, Democritus and uh, Jan Dalton. And as you can see here, there are negatively charged around this um, sphere. Okay, now I would like to challenge all of you, especially my students, to come up with your own model of uh, the atoms. All right, so um, I would like you to create your model and then explain to me. So you're going to create three models. Uh, first is a uh, Democritus model. Uh, you can use uh, simple materials, okay? If you have marbles or other solid uh, ball in your in your house, you can uh, do that. You can make you can make um, a model out of that. Uh, create John Dalton's model and JJ Thompson, okay? So um, and try to explain it. Uh, on how you understood based uh, from my presentation, okay? Uh, so three models, Democritus model, John Dalton's model, and J.J. Thompson's model, okay? So thank you for watching my presentation today, and have a good day, everyone.